closer. Loads over here. <laughs> See if we find this frog. Whoa, 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 that big blue one here. Whoa. Yeah. So, hi guys. So, I visited a place called Butterfly Gardens at Middleton Common Farm. So, give them a follow on Facebook and check out their Instagram as well. Fantastic little place. Um, it's like a um, farm shop and everything as well and we decided so six quid to get in I thought Joe, this is gonna be fantastic for some uh, photography practice and everything like that this is just filmed on my phone just uh, as you can see a little bit of slow motion there um, yeah it's not too big not too small quite busy so it's well worth booking your spot um, but yeah tons of different types of butterflies the staff are very knowledgeable as well um, so I had a chat to a couple of them about the different types of butterfly, caterpillar and all that sort of stuff there. So really, really, uh, really cool. They've also got, I think they're tree frogs, um, four uh, in there at the moment. They were quite quite fun to try and find. Uh, I had to use a young lad to say, have you seen the frogs? And he was like, yep. So previous shot was done with my phone and this is done with the A1 with the 135G Master on. And a little pop from the flash as well, just to add a little bit of lighting. Um, 4K 120 um slow motion fantastic i love it um one of my favorite things is a little bit of slow motion video high speed video and uh, it didn't disappoint as you can see there just slowing the shot speed down a little bit just so get a little bit more light and a little bit of uh opening aperture back up as well so super shallow depth of the field doesn't always work that well so you sometimes have to stop down back even up to like f8 to give you enough depth to get the butterfly fully in especially which depending on which way it's actually standing. Um, as you saw right at the beginning of the video, my lens was all misty and I had to stand in there for about 10 minutes. So during the summer months, it's probably going to take less time because it's already going to be quite hot um, outside. So obviously it was 6 degrees Celsius when we were outside um, and it was 36 degrees centigrade while, whilst we were inside. So massive difference in temperature. I'd also recommend taking a separate t-shirt with you or spare t-shirt so you can swap when you come out because it was a bit sweaty. Um, but fantastic little place, like I say, in there for around about an hour, snapping away. Um, I was trying out the A1. I'm actually going to go back with the RX10 Mark IV as well and just try some other uh, style shots with it. wasn't really uh, sure on how well it could um, track things like this because they are moving seriously fast. As you can see, they're, they're all over the place. They're, and there's no real um, like when you follow a bird they normally just fly in a particular direction the butterflies are all over the place um, so you can see the bit of banding there I didn't have um, anti flicker mode or anything like that I just left the camera as was so you can see the strobing from one of the heat lights there so that is something that you know obviously you have to think about um, no trouble whilst taking the photos at all even with um, electronic shutter rather than mechanical so that was absolutely fine but as you can see there the autofocus does work quite well once you capture it with, it's trying to stay with them um you know so absolutely fantastic there's one of the members of staff there i think her name was amy she was very helpful um this yeah and then unfortunately obviously depending on where i've aimed the camera it decided it was just going to sit on the background now um until it could find something else so i found a butterfly there uh into the photos so i was shooting with flash but flash was at 164th power or 132nd power, depending on what I was messing around with. ISO was around about uh, 400, I think I had most of the time, um, on one two thousandth of a second. And it worked quite wisely. A little bit of a punch from the flash, not necessarily to freeze anything, but just to help with the colour, if anything. So A1 locking on to the butterflies and in fact I was getting shots that I couldn't even believe that I was getting and in fact I didn't even see because they're moving so quickly um, I was shooting on medium burst most of the time I did whack it into high burst a couple of times um, as you can see here it's locking on pretty well and you get some very good shots even wide open um, f1.8 with the 135 some of these obviously quite heavily cropped in 
this shot here he was almost out of shot um, did very well at capturing that obviously some of the butterflies have been a little bit damaged or whatever um, but uh, yeah the this shot here I could have stopped down with could have done with stopping down a little bit better because the left hand butterfly is really nice and sharp and as you can see the eyes on the right hand one were a little bit out this shot here as you can see um, beautiful soft background people in the background um, wandering around and just uh, enjoying everything and this is a crop in so it really does work very very well so I was very very impressed this is the sort of first real uh, autofocus test as such that I've kind of managed to do again nice and sharp um, working very very well so really really pleased on how fast it works so fast that actually it's even managed to capture this shot here where the butterfly is off shot almost and this is just a little crop in now so you can kind of see obviously it's a massive crop in um, but you can still see it managed to lock onto that and stay right to the edge of the the frame as well so you know I'm trying to keep up with them and I'm, I'm just basically praying and spraying and such uh, this shot here with a punch of the flash you can see here the eyes nice and blue a little bit of the blue wing showing in between this is cropped in to a hundred percent so you can kind of see what the quality is like and again there the actual image is obviously a lot bigger um, but again very very impressed on how close you can shoot with the 135 G Master and that's one reason I sold it uh, sorry sold my Sigma uh, 135 f1.8 art series lens because it was 20 I think it's 20 centimeters um, further back so it makes a huge difference especially with things like this so yeah fantastic lens um, the G Master obviously Sigma is still fantastic but you just couldn't focus anywhere near as close uh, so really really impressed with how well this was doing even shooting wide open you can see, even see a spider web uh, there strand uh, on the leaf there so yeah really really cool uh, water droplet to your left there which I've only just spotted I've, I even edited the photos so yeah uh, photos had it in raw just a little tweak here or there that's quite a big crop in on the caterpillar there but they're everywhere all over the place you, you see them and you just say oh there's something and then you turn around and you walk around three or four times and then you're seeing something new um, members of staff will point something out because I haven't noticed it and like, oh, let me just have a look here the little legs and everything I'd never knew how they laid them um, yeah absolutely fantastic it, really really cool they are opening in the summer I believe um, with an insect another insect um, I guess it's a polytunnel um, as well so I'll definitely be going back to have a look at that um, but just amazed on how well it was just locking on so yeah like I say, I'm going to take the RX-10 back and see how that performs which will do I'm sure it'll do very very well anyway but it's the speed that they move um, erratically is the challenge so you know Obviously, I was using a prime, which makes it even harder because you've got no zoom in or out. So you're kind of locked at a particular zoom um, or magnification. But when it came to stuff like this, this is just it's awesome. So a friend Lucy was obviously with me. We were out snapping. She was using a um, A7 III and the 24 or 70 uh, Sigma. So check out her Instagram as well. She's put a couple of pictures up, I believe. Um, but yeah, utilizing the flash a little bit really, really helped. So stopping down to sort of f8 sometimes uh, and pumping the power up a little bit. This is a, one of the tree frogs. Another one uh, shooting straight down through the leaves like a big, um, big leafed plant. Um, as you can see, they're nice and sharp, even wide open at f1.8. So anyway, I hope you found the video interesting. Go and check out their website and um, Instagram and Facebook and everything like that. If you're in Sussex at all, it's well worth a visit, even just for an hour, um, and it's not expensive. I think it's very good value and if you're into photography it's just a fun little day out or part of a day out um, park cameras where I spend too much money on camera stuff is not far away either so it's just outside Burgess Hill um, so that's also worth a visit if you're looking at new lenses and cameras as well so anyway I'll see you soon don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well and uh, ciao for now